Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy, and it's prayer request day, <coughs> excuse me, here on Wednesday, uh, though today I'm actually taping this on Tuesday uh, in order to get it on Wednesday, but uh, I wanted to share with you an article from USA Today before we get into our prayer request. Uh, and th this article is entitled 72% of Millennials More Spiritual Than Religious which I've never quite understood the difference between spiritual and religious other than just maybe it means they don't associate with organized religion uh, I haven't read everything in the article I'll be honest with you I just was hitting the high points uh, when I saw it and one of the things that was interesting uh, but not surprising at all is it states that 65 percent of young adults that is those between ages of 18 and 29 never pray with others not a surprise anybody who goes to a church prayer meeting will recognize that that very people very few people show up it's the least attended uh, meeting of the week and it's sad it's sad but and, and pitiful but it's not just 18 29 year olds either it's people in my age group and older who who don't pray they don't come to pray with others. They don't. Uh, they just don't think it's important. Let's just face it. Uh, it also said that 38 percent almost never pray by themselves either. Now that's probably a, a low number. Um, I would say it's probably well over 50 percent, or maybe up around 60 something percent uh, that never pray by themselves uh, because. Uh, many people, when they take a survey on prayer, uh, when when you ask them about prayer, they oh yeah, they'll pray. They're thinking about praying, say, during a time of tragedy or if if somebody dies in their family or they've been in an accident or they're taking a real hard test in college. Yeah, they they might say a short prayer, but when I'm talking about prayer, I'm talking about setting aside. A time to seek the face of God. Uh, I bet you, if if they would have asked that in more detail, the numbers would be higher. Uh, but none of this uh, is a surprise because I don't think most churches emphasize the need for prayer. Oh, we talk a lot about prayer, and we have our prayer request, but we don't actually pray. We don't actually just, I mean, really get into some heavy-duty prayer in our prayer meetings, or even on Sunday, spend much time in prayer. And until Christian churches start stop trying to entertain people, I mean, uh, they got to stop the entertainment. Uh, that's what's wrong with our seeker friendly churches that's what's wrong with so many churches today they're trying to entertain when we need a return to spirituality it's not just the more modern churches it's true with the traditional church I'm in a more traditional church and and very you know it's, prayer meetings are not well attended uh, I think it's it goes not just toward that generation uh, but several generations older and younger who don't see the importance of prayer and we're not going to see revival in this nation I don't believe until people get serious about prayer and I'm talking about the Christian churches anyway I just wanted to share that with you the link is below to the USA article so you just uh, click it on below uh, prayer request for this week continue remember Miss Patsy Hartley she's home after uh, 
uh, kidney surgery, recovering from kidney cancer, and just pray for her healing. Also, uh, Mrs. Hong, who we mentioned last week, she uh, passed away, and remember her family in prayer. Let's remember the crew and the families of the Deepwater Horizon. This is the oil rig out in the Gulf that exploded. Uh, remember the families of, of those who lost loved ones and those who were injured. Uh, just keep them in your prayers. Uh, uh, we were above north of north of us here in uh, in Faraday, Louisiana, up in Madison Parish. Uh, it was hit hard last week by some storms and some very bad storm damage was done in the uh, Tallulah area and also in North Mississippi around the Yazoo City area. Uh, much property damage. Pray for those people who, had, who lost so much. In other prayer request remember the church in China uh, especially the Lin Fin church which the Chinese government is trying to shut down and their attempt uh, they say they're going to destroy their main sanctuary the golden lampstand church so remember uh, the Lin Fin church can also in persecuted church news or prayer request uh, the North Korean Christians who suffer brutally uh, remember the Coptic Church in Egypt and all Christians in Egypt and also in Pakistan where a lady by the name of Rub Rubina Amajad was jailed for blaspheming and that usually meant that they're they were standing up for their Christian faith and she was denied bail so continue to remember her uh, that the Lord will give her strength remember the churches in Iran uh, where they are persecuted by the government and also in Iraq especially around Mosul Iraq where it's been especially um uh, brutal persecution uh, but let's remember the the church in Iraq uh, where number of Christians is dwindling now if you have any prayer requests please add them below in the comment section uh, this is for you and I want to pray for you and I'll take these requests as, uh, and we'll pray over them at our church prayer meeting on Wednesday night and when we have a time of prayer in Sunday morning and Sunday evening church services. So um, add your prayer request. Until next time, I pray that God blesses each and every one of you. God bless you all.